Hi everyone, it's the Psychic Sleuth. Um, if you would like to support what I do and help missing and murdered people, please like and subscribe. Please follow along and join the Psychic Sleuth group and all my other platforms. So everything will be down below how you also can support me in other ways. So it's taken me a while to post this because it caused a fight with my old team members and they made me second guess what I was getting. Um, there was also some brutal things that I just am not going to put in here. But I've been meaning to release this for some time. Um, I don't know if I'm going to post this screenshot because I, I actually had it and then I, you know, whenever you clean your phone you send it somewhere else. So, um, if I have to prove that I did it in 2019 I will. But this was done October 27, 2019 for the third one that I did on Susan Powell. Uh, so I've always gotten a mind cave in the dark crystal movie reference was given a lot. It was also dark and cold like a mine was, so I find it interesting that they're now looking in mines. But I felt like she gave this info, I should put it out, so that's what I'm doing. There was interconnects when I did this reading, keep that in mind, and I feel there was, I feel there was anyways. It's, it's not that helpful, it just reiterates the mine and cave really, and also I did a one, one after this that I'm going to uh, talk about in this same video. So hang tight, we got a lot to go through here. Um, I'm going to put both readings in this just, just because. So this is for entertainment purposes only. Not that I really needed to say everyone is innocent until proven guilty in here because, well, he's deceased now and we know he's guilty, but information can be past, present, or future, symbolic, or have multiple meanings. Spirit will often use my references and experiences in order to try and describe something. It can sometimes feel like charades. Information that comes in may be connections, areas that are past or surrounding, or places that have to be, or pieces that have to be put together like a puzzle. I do have to remind you guys that viewer discretion is advised on this one. Okay. I heard that they went to Simpson Springs. I don't know if you remember, I got Simpson a while ago randomly in Interconnects Gannon. Since there was a Simpson by where he was and also there by where Summer went missing. I find it interesting it's now connecting three cases. Also I have someone going through the readings and matching things matching things up, which is my colleague. There are horses in the area and many other things that I have gotten that connect, you know, prior to the prior readings. So if there is proof that this is her, I will po post more validation, but it is how I saw. Where it's above the lake and you can see down, basically there's a lot connecting. So the beginning of this reading, I was sitting in the front seat with him and he was driving. I kept looking over and seeing him and seeing the kids in the back seat. It was really weird, like I was back in time and night it was dark I can see lights going by my head was kind of hurting and it's like I'm I'm there and he doesn't know so I was remote viewing at the time I'm guessing Charlie I think is in the seat behind dad I don't know I'm still heading heading up from what I can feel this could be up a mountain per se but there's a reference to a hotel on my right that I passed that has red lights I think um, I then keep going and I get a reference to a lake on my left. I keep seeing this big lake. I keep in my mind's eye things can be mirrored. It may It's on my left but I feel like I'm traveling up so it definitely could be a mountain or a road. I get a reference or being in the trunk I believe. Like I'm taken back in time astrally. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Up, up a mountain is what I kept getting is how to describe it. A body of water that's kind of on my left and I feel like I'm looking down on it. And the water looks like it's on a cliff, I guess. Or the letter T. I see lots of trees at one point, but there's a reference to caves or something in the side of mountains or mines, whatever they are. There's like little areas and there's caves and mines. I keep getting a bare face, so I'm not really sure why. And I get a reference to trails, too. I get lots of different trails, and I want to say trees. I hear not far, not as far as they think. I'm meaning eight hours when I say that. So I get a reference to I'm driving a lot, around a lot. I see dice and a checkerboard, so I'm not really sure what that is other than it could be symbolism for games he was playing. Um, I hear word ice cap, so maybe you can see them from there on the mountains. In a reference to hot springs and an area possibly, area possibly a, a swing rope. Now, I don't know if the swing rope was from his childhood or there's another connection, but 
I don't know if this was an area he liked or knew, um, past or is around. Not really sure. So I hear dripping like I'm in a cave of mine. Cave mine. They look the same in vision, and I get a loop. I also see also seeing a box as a symbol, and I wasn't really sure why. It's weird because I'm getting a headache now as we're talking on the same side. I got it when I did the other reading. I'll explain in a minute. I get the word hidden and I get like a cross, uh, like an X boarded up area. If this is a mine or a cave, but I keep seeing the same kind of thing. But I think it's close to you see or you pass a lake and take a left, I think mirrored. And you could go up this dirt road. And if you keep going, there's rocks and areas to the right and I keep being led that way. She's not in the water, but the lake is significant like you can see it or it's close or you pass it. I'm shown a camping sign like a tent. I get lake, mountains in the distance, and s like a rocky area. It's weird because I'm reading this now and I just typed up the other reading and I didn't realize how much fits or matches. The same thing. Um, I hear a word 15 minutes or it could be a road or whatever, but 15 maybe after you get off the main road. I hear that he's made it look more difficult than it is and it's not all what people think. I think he's been... It, it has been games to throw people off. I see rocks piled up at an entrance and I get the background pointy rocks with snow on them in the distance. I get a reference to the lake freezing over in winter and I get a reference to leaves, all, all different colored leaves maybe to symbolize the season. I hear a loop and trail like it loops and then a trail goes a bit down in this area. I get the number three and I feel like I'm up high, th high though. Um, lake is lower up higher like I went up a mountain. I don't know the reference 15 keeps coming in could be minutes or a number but 15 um, maybe once you turn off the main road but it looks like a skinny road games played to send everyone on a, on a wild goose chase she's saying how she would she should have left him long ago and she regrets not being able to walk away but I think he scared her I think she was biding her time blue and white are coming in and I get a reference to an axe I don't know, she shows me um, that and tools. I see him swinging the axe down and up towards her. Brutal. I get the word pike. Showing me dark crystals again um, reminds me of a mine. Maybe some kind of quartz as well. Josh has a killer instinct and there's a lot people don't know about him. What he did before he met her and everything. It was always in him and he was good at hiding things. I get a reference to her head as well and I get a crack in the skull. She says she feels forgotten sometimes. I get a reference to things happening to her while the kids were locked in a room and putting on music for them with headphones. I see Josh really losing it. She tried to fight back. He was very emotionally abusive and physically. He's a narcissist, caves and rocky areas. So that was done. I didn't realize how much is gonna match this next reading. But that was on October 27, 2019 with my old team. And again, the reason why I didn't release it was there was some brutal stuff that I didn't mention um, that I didn't say. And then they had me second guessing everything. So I just, I didn't release it. But now I think is it's time. So your discretion is advised for this next one. Susan Powell, February 16th, 2022. So this one was on a whim. Susan wouldn't leave me alone while I was talking about her to a colleague. She started making the right side of my ear, head, and jaw hurt, and it got worse. My colleague admitted that it would make sense for Susan. I said, well, she wants to talk. It's getting worse, so we'll do a reading. And as I'm talking to you now, I'm having the same feeling in my ear again. I didn't realize I had gotten tools before either, so that has been validated. Um, this one, like I said, okay, so I heard something like tool or drill in my ear. Also, there is a reference to my stomach. I'm wondering if she was pregnant or what this reference is because I can see a baby bump forming. But I also feel like I'm being hit or there is some kind of brutality. So nausea, I think, is from her pregnancy. He didn't want another kid. It was going to be a girl, by the way. But she's really upping my anxiety. My head is hurting super bad. I think if she tested it was too early or didn't show because um, she was showing me the baby bump and the girl with her on the other side. So either she got prego after the testing or it was too early to test or didn't show up. But there's definitely a feeling to the front of my throat. 
Not really sure why, but I do think that he strangled her or and even more from the front and the back of my neck. It's hurting like I was feeling it all around like this. Apparently, my colleague said that he had made a comment to a friend about her head in a bucket. So this was confirmed after I got this. She was validating the reading as I went along. I said, yes, that's kind of what it feels like because it was from the front of the neck all around. So this would mean she was killed at the house like I originally saw in all my readings. Because she takes me back to yelling and screaming. I get a reference to her, him grabbing her clothes, or sorry, her grabbing her clothes like I'm leaving out there, out of here. You're crazy, she keeps saying. And he strikes her in the head. That's how it starts. There's a reference to him grabbing her by the hair and dragging her. No one calls me crazy, he says. That comment, he lost it with. I hear it like she's saying the things I was hearing as well. Could hear her voice in my head. I can hear them talking in my head like it's a replay. There's a reference to, to the garage and something happening in there. She says that he had gotten weird. She talks about the garage and I think this is where she ended up meeting her demise. I get a reference to a jigsaw. Ew, okay, I can't deal with this. This guy is horrendous. And my shoulder hurts. Also hurts now. Everything on my right side. Neck still hurting on the right side. My colleague verified that he had hurt his shoulder. So that must be why I was feeling the pain in my shoulder. She was able to verify that for me. Um, I feel very caught off guard. I feel like he's done with this relationship. Marriage, kids. Didn't want to lose anything. And again, he planned this. But this happened on a different night than he planned. Because she was leaving him. And he says she was done with his bullshit. She said that she started to see a side of him that she never saw before and he was scaring her. I get that he started acting off but he was very narcissistic like I've always gotten and he talked down to her a lot and emotionally abused her. I even see him slapping her at one time. She knew that she was not safe anymore and I'm also getting a reference to pain in my right forearm. I see something about him cleaning up blood and she didn't know what had happened to him and he was not the guy that she thought she knew. Also get a reference to trash bags being thrown away. I get that he put them in the garage or something and then drove around taking them to places. I also think there is some kind of drugging going on with the kids, whether it was that night or not, probably that night, because there's something with the kids being drugged. And I think at times maybe she was drugged as well. There is a woozy feeling I get. But I can see the kids in the back of the car sleeping. It's nighttime. And I can see someone uh, drives and passes lights, passes, you know, when someone's driving and the lights are going through the windows, that's how it looks. And I'm trying to see where she was. I think at this point, she was in the trunk like I've gotten before, but I don't think she's whole because the whole jigsaw thing, power saw, whatever, it was a saw. But I get a reference to an axe or something too that he's, he's used or got. That came in before, um, in the prior reading. So he's a psychopath, undiagnosed, he's got a thing for fire, I keep seeing fire. Okay, I'm like, Susan, where are you? She gives me 15 again. I keep seeing crystals again. Yeah, there are things spread everywhere, and something with my right arm, on the forearm. So I don't know if he took off identifying features, because I'm seeing hands now, for some reason. There's a mention of Christmas or December. I get the same symbol for both. Also the number 17. There's a reference to driving along a river, and I get a reference to trees. It's weird because like I pull off and there's pathways that are dirt. I don't know, there's some sort of old building on the corner, but I pull into this dirt road. I can see the dust flying, although it wouldn't really be really be dusty because it's snowy, but to show it's dirt roads, that's how they would show it to me. So I don't know why there are trees here, and I can see like different mountains around me or hills, but the road goes through this area. I don't know, I see a camping sign. And there's a reference to the horses again. Also, I don't know why I keep seeing a darn dinosaur, but it's green, long neck, kind of plastic thing. That came in a lot before. I'm also getting an M, and I'm not sure how it fits, but also looks like this road goes into an area where there are mountains, like, around me. But again, there's the sense of a lake. Like, if you were to go up a hill, you could see it below, or a sense of water. I don't know why, but it's not in the direct area, like... It's on the other side, or you can see it from high up. This area looks really sandy, and there's lots of rocks, too. So I don't know if this is an area where more trees in the beginning, but when you drive out of the area with lots of trees, then there's 
isn't like a lot of trees. There's, there just is when you, when you pass through this area. So it's so weird. So it's like just in the beginning, there's all these trees, and then there's not. Um, then it turns to more like desert, bushy. Um, there must be some smaller, and there may be some smaller trees, and they are, but they're different, and only a lot of trees at the entrance. The reference to the mine comes in again because I see an X with the boards and it's boarded up. But this road goes up the mountains a bit to this mine. But I get like five mines, I think. But there's a number five coming in. So I don't know if it's five minutes, five mines, something like that. Also, I don't know why I'm seeing clouds. That was kind of random. But I can hear his feet in the snow, like how it sounds when you walk on new snow. It's dark, like really dark and cold. I don't know if they had a van. There's a reference to a van. I asked my colleague and she said yes and then she said she was in the back of the van but also um, okay this road split so it goes straight or it splits off to the right and I keep wanting to go straight though and it goes up so I don't know I get the dark crystals again I keep seeing them like the purple like the dark crystal movie that movie was very first reference so I guess it was to symbolize a mine cave mine whatever um, she talks about it being dark, damp, and cold. I can hear a drip, drip, drip. I ask if he threw something down to blow up or a thought about. I keep seeing a fire or explosion. I know that happened with the kids, but it's like I see, like if you throw something down and it blows up. Also, I don't know why gold is mentioned, but you know how you take a bottle with gasoline and you put a rag in it and you light the rag on fire and throw it. I kept seeing that. I don't know if it is if it was he was just throwing stuff like an idiot but I can hear the bottle break dude lost it at this time he's like manic I don't know I feel like I'm falling um, so I don't know maybe thrown down a shaft is what it feels like if they even are like that now I remember in my very first readings I kept getting mine um, they look the same in vision but mine kept coming up many times so this isn't the first time I'm saying it there's something with her head though so I don't know if it's not with the body or what and the front of my head is hurting I'm trying to get better directions at this time I can name or anything so I don't know I feel like maybe my head hurts so bad it may not be connected but I can see I can't see for sure but I asked if he moved from the old house because I kept seeing a reference to him burying it because I I can see him digging a hole so I think he buried it the hands are too are referenced yes it's not buried where the dog said anymore because he reburied it somewhere else now my colleagues had said the dogs hit when I said that so I asked about the dad's house being checked with dogs there's a reference to dad's house I don't know he did he did a lot of crap to confuse the hell out of me and in this reading and everyone else but there's a reference to dad's house so I don't know if dad even knew but there is something that is buried there in the way it's coming in she just keeps talking about something being in dad's yard some type of plant or flowers on top of it like a rose bush or something I don't know I keep seeing like something being planted on top that's what she keeps showing me so I want to go back to this place if I can find anything else I don't think that it was supposed to be at dad's forever but he felt like he was being watched and the cops were onto him and he started to get paranoid the reference is dad's house under some kind of bushes but he planted something on top and dad may be new I think dad was just as sick unfortunately they're both psychopaths I keep asking where she is and I keep hearing where the crystals are so I don't know what the heck that means or what kind of mines there are if they have crystals or what but this type of mine I, this is a type of mine I think there's reference to coal too so I don't know if there is one with a warning sign and an X in front but that keeps coming in like a caution sign or something letter D Doug something I don't know she's spelling it she's she spelt it D-U-G-W-A-Y I don't remember if that's where we were talking about um, but when I was talking to my colleague or not or if it's the right place but I kept hearing that so I don't know why I'm also getting a cross so usually symbolic for church or memorial I'm getting a standing cross also the color red that's been coming in a lot Again, the rocks piled up, comes in like a pile not standing, and I keep seeing pieces of a flower dress or flower fabric. It's like light blue, and I see it ripped, just like pieces of it. I don't know why. I just see like a light blue floral material, 
and also I don't know why I'm seeing little white flower kind of looks like daisies so also I forgot to say at the beginning of the reading for those that are new here I'm reading my own reading that I did prior okay so that's why the reading because I cannot remember all that um, and this is the way I get the deepest information so <sighs> hopefully it's helpful I should have released that one a long time ago with Susan but again they had me second guessing everything so all right thank you for liking and subscribing and being a part of my community. I'll see you guys next time.